good YouTube, it's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, two legends have been knocked out tonight. UFC legendary fighter, the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz gets brutally knocked out by another UFC fighter, another UFC legend and Hall of Famer, and Anderson the Spider Silver. But more importantly, a boxing legend gets knocked out tonight. And that is two division, undisputed, heavyweight and cruiserweight, Hall of Fame, legendary, iconic superstar boxer, Evander the Real Deal Holyfield. Now, Evander Holyfield is 58 years of age, okay? Uh, Evander Holyfield has been calling to get a fight with his rival. But nonetheless, Evander Holyfield, he finished his boxing career with 44 wins, 10 losses, 2 draws, 29 big wins by way of knockout. Two times in his career, he was knocked out six foot two and a half with a 78-inch army. Last time he was in, actually in a professional boxing match was back in 2011, uh, May of 2011, when he beat Brian Niel uh, Nielsen with a TKO victory. Uh, prior to that, uh, Vander Holyfield, you know, uh, he had a no contest. He beat France uh, Botha, you know, uh, but Evander Holyfield is far past it. Now, his rival, former undisputed heavyweight world champion, iconic uh, superstar, Iron Mike Tyson, he made a comeback against another legend in Roy Jones Jr., Hall of Fame iconic legendary superstar in his own right. And Iron Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, they went the distance. OK, and since then, since he made his comeback, Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson and Vanna Holyfield, they've been linked to each other for quite some time. OK, so Mike Tyson, he made his comeback and he had that uh, exhibition bout or showdown with Roy Jones Jr. And Vanna Holyfield, he started his road to comeback. Now, Mike Tyson is younger than Vanna Holyfield. He's three years younger, at 55 years of age. OK, Mike Tyson was preserved also. So Mike Tyson, he did get knocked out in his boxing career. You know, uh, he did take a lot of punishment on the back end of his boxing career uh, ever since that James Buster Douglas fight. And, uh, you know, um, he lost twice to Evander Holyfield. We know the infamous uh, air biting situation where, you know, Evander Holyfield, he said after Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones, he stated, my right ear needs this uh, uh, trilogy match. OK, he knocked Mike Tyson out in the first fight. And then uh, in the second fight, Mike Tyson got frustrated. We know what took place. And uh, Evander Holyfield has been seeking a trilogy match for him. Mike Tyson finished his professional boxing career. 50 wins, 6 losses, no draws, 44 big wins by way of knockout. He himself was knocked out uh, 5 times in his career. But Mike Tyson, 55 years of age. Now, he ended his career on a two-fight losing streak to Kevin McBride and to Danny Williams. Okay, so uh, Mike Tyson had lost his... Lost his uh, um, you know, his last two fights, okay? Um, but, you know, Mike Tyson just seems to be in better shape than uh, Evander Holyfield. Now, Evander Holyfield looks in great shape, okay? Uh, but there was videos that surfaced of Evander Holyfield talking, and uh, his, his conversations seemed to be all over the place. He didn't seem uh, to stay on track with one, one uh, part of the conversation, okay? Uh, and another video surfaced of Evander Holyfield hitting a, the pads and he looked absolutely uh horrifying okay uh the boxing world was afraid for Evander Holyfield that he could seriously get hurt now he is uh replacing another legend an Olympic gold medalist Hall of Famer former sixth division world champion in um Oscar the golden boy De La Hoya who was supposed to fight Vito Belfort tonight a UFC fighter a UFC legend okay and so Oscar De La Hoya he had to be pulled out of the fight because Oscar De La Hoya, you know, he tested positive for C-19, C-19, okay? And so uh, he had to be replaced in the fight. So Evander Holyfield replaced uh, Oscar De La Hoya to face off against Vitor Belfort, okay? And there was reports that surfaced that there was big money from Trilla in which who staged this. Uh, there was big money... Uh, uh, from Triller that was willing to put up for Mike Tyson and they even stated that Mike Tyson was avoiding Evander Holyfield they was he was avoiding the trilogy match because he felt like Evander Holyfield 
may just knock him out. Well, Evander Holyfield tonight got in there with a UFC fighter, a UFC legend, and Vito Belfort. And he himself got knocked out in the first round. Got put down. He went through the ropes. Horrible, right? Just what we expected from when we saw the media workout and him hitting the pads, okay? We saw a guy who's his age. Mike Tyson, he seems to be rejuvenated, okay? Mike Tyson seems to be refreshed, okay? Evander Holyfield does not look refreshed. Evander Holyfield looks his age, every bit of it. He actually looks older than his age. Now, physically, he looked great on the scales, okay? Uh, very muscular, you know, um, he looks shredded on the scales. But again, while he, his movements were nothing like Mike Tyson. And prior to that workout video, I myself thought, Maybe Mike Tyson is avoiding Evander Holyfield. Maybe Mike Tyson is uh, looking at it and he's saying to himself, man, this guy's going to knock me out because of the first two fights that they had. Okay. And uh, again, the first fight, you know, Evander Holyfield was the underdog and he knocked Mike Tyson out. Okay. Uh, shockingly, that was back in 1997. Uh, that was back in 1996. And uh, that was November of 96. He knocked Mike Tyson out. Then they had an immediate rematch in June of 97. Uh, and that's when we got the DQ disqualification. The whole Mike Tyson got frustrated, bit his ear, so on and so forth. Okay. And uh, Evander Holyfield, he still went on to do big things after that. He fought Lennox Lewis. He he beat Michael Moore, uh, you know, to, to regain the WBA, the IBF title. You know, uh, he fought Lennox Lewis in an undisputed match. It ended in a draw controversial draw then he lost to Evander Holyfield uh, again in 99 you know and ever since that DQ Evander Holyfield been seeking out a, a trilogy match with Mike Tyson okay he wasn't settled he wasn't just happy that he beat Mike Tyson and knocked him out the first time see Evander Holyfield he has a chip on his shoulder when it comes to Mike Tyson uh because um he never got the opportunity to face off against Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was in his absolute prime okay uh because he was supposed to immediately face off against um, Mike Tyson after that James Buster Douglas fight. But remember, uh, James Buster Douglas, he shocked the world in the biggest upset in all the sports when he knocked out Mike Tyson. Okay? So when he knocked out Mike Tyson, James Buster Douglas, Evander Holyfield was sitting ringside. So Evander Holyfield was ringside. He was supposed to be the man to face off against Mike Tyson in a mega undisputed showdown. Uh, after Mike Tyson beat James Buster Douglas. But again, we know that James Buster Douglas, he shocked the world, knocking out Mike Tyson brutally. And then Evander Holyfield, he went and he knocked out James Buster Douglas. And from the point where he knocked out James Buster Douglas, he never got his credit because everybody chalked Mike Tyson losing to James Buster Douglas up as a fluke. Okay, Mike Tyson was in Japan. He wasn't focused. Uh, you know, he was hanging out. He was out partying. And he took uh, Buster Douglas lightly. James Buster Douglas had to fight his career, just losing his mom, you know, uh, the fight of his life. And he knocked out James uh, Mike Tyson. But everybody said that, well, it was a fluke because Mike Tyson wasn't focused. And so he, then Mike Tyson, we know, went on a hiatus. He had to go sit down for a while. And so Evander Holyfield, obviously, he fought the winner, who was James Buster Douglas, who then came in very out of shape for the Evander Holyfield fight. Uh, a lot of people felt he took it lightly. Some people said that uh, he was just happy with and um, he was just happy and and comfortable with the fact that he had the biggest upset in all the sports history beating Mike Tyson, you know, uh, and he was complacent. So he went in the Holyfield fight and he got knocked out and Holyfield never got his just dues. OK, everybody said, well, you never beat the real champion to become undisputed. So by the time Evander Holyfield did fight Mike Tyson in 96, well, that version of Mike Tyson, everybody stated, oh, Mike Tyson was past his prime. He wasn't the same guy, okay? So it always went down as if Mike Tyson was in his absolute prime, he would have beat Evander Holyfield. But I personally believe that Evander Holyfield just happened to have Mike Tyson's number. And I believe even in Mike Tyson's absolute prime, Evander Holyfield's style and his will and his heart and the dog in him was always going to give Mike Tyson problems. But he was ever, never able to obviously, you know, um, prove that because everybody said, well, in 96, by the time you fought him, he wasn't the same guy 
and you never was the official champion. So that's a chip on his shoulder that he'll never get over. And that's what he's been seeking out to get satisfaction by getting Mike Tyson in the ring, even in exhibition style. But this version of James Buster Douglas, I mean, excuse me, this version of Vander Holyfield that we saw tonight getting knocked out by Vita Belfort in the first round, I believe Mike Tyson, the version we saw against Roy Jones Jr., might have knocked out Evander Holyfield in more brutal fashion. So, Evander Holyfield, he wasn't happy that the referee stopped the fight. He wanted to be given the benefit of the doubt. He wanted to be given another chance. And he started to say he wanted a rematch. He still wants Mike Tyson. It's over for Evander Holyfield. Period. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Ebony Bridges, Blonde Bomber, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.